Chad has ordered the immediate deployment of troops to maintain peace, especially in the capital in Yamina, after provincial results of the May 6th presidential elections, surprisingly published on Thursday night, declared transitional ruler General Mahamat Idris Dabi winner with over 61% of the votes. The main challenger, Success Masara, claimed he won with more than 73% of the votes. Moki Edwin Kenzeka reports from Yaounde in neighboring Cameroon. Residents in Chad's capital, Jamena, say they awoke Friday morning to the sound of heavy gunshots. 45 year old Umar Sali, a resident of the Machaga neighborhood, spoke to VOA on Friday morning via a messaging app. Umar says the shooting may have been ordered by Chad's government to intimidate those objecting to the results of Chad's May 6 presidential elections. Public Security and Immigration Minister Mohammad Shafatin Mogri said in a release Thursday that enough police have been deployed to stop what he called the use of weapons and explosives all over Chad, but specifically in Jamena. According to the provisional results, Transitional President General Mohamed Depi is the official winner with 61.3% of the votes, more than the 50% needed to avoid a runoff. Members of the opposition and the public say they are surprised Orange published the figures in three days instead of 15 days after the voting as stated in the Electoral Code. Orange says it is legal to publish results within 15 days. Debbie, in a late night message, said he is very grateful to the majority that voted for him. Debbie says he is now the democratically elected president of all Chadians, including opposition party leaders who lost. Debbie says he is particularly delighted because he scored a resounding victory and that he is going to work immediately to fulfill his electoral promises. Davis said he will concentrate on providing jobs for unemployed youths and strengthening Chad's internal security to guarantee peace and stability. And he says more than 75% of the registered 8.2 million voters took part in the vote. Davis' main challenger, Success Masra, scored 18.53% of the vote, while Abe Pahimi Padaki the first transitional prime minister got 7.91%. Masra had earlier declared that he won a resounding victory in the first round of voting, but that his victory was stolen by Depi. He spoke in a message broadcast on Facebook Thursday afternoon. He says Chadians voted en masse to say enough is enough to the over three decade dictatorial rule of Chad's former president Idris Deby Itno and his son Mohammed Idris Deby. Masra says all his supporters and security forces should strongly oppose an attempt by Deby to steal victory from the people. Masra said all Chad civilians should calmly mobilize and demonstrate peacefully for the stolen victory to be restored. Opposition and civil society members say there is perceivable tension that may cause chaos in Chad following the publication of the results. Candidates have five days from the date of publication of provisional results to file complaints at the Constitutional Council. Definitive results will be declared by Chad's Constitutional Council on May 21. David took power in April 2021 after the death of his father, Idris Deby Itno, who died on the front line of a war against rebels after ruling for 30 years. Mokish Edwin Kinzuka, VOA News, Yaoundé, Cameroon. Civilian contractors have arrived in Haiti to build living quarters for a Kenyan-led international security force meant to counter gang violence in the Caribbean nation, the U.S. military's Southern Command said. 
The UN Security Council approved in October the creation of the multinational security support mission to help Haitian police wrest back territory from alliances of gangs who control most of the capital, Port au Prince. Kenya pledged a thousand officials to lead the force last July, but their deployment has been repeatedly delayed, first by court challenges and then by a surge of violence in Port au Prince that forced the Prime Minister Aliel Henry to resign in March. Kenyan President William Ruto said last week that the swelling in of a transition council in Haiti on April 25th had addressed that concern and Kenya was discussing how to proceed. U.S. military aircraft flew civilian contractors to Haiti from May 3rd to May 5th to secure equipment and supplies arriving in the country, Southern Command said in a statement. Additional contractors who have recently been transported are there to set up the temporary living area for the eventual arrival of the multinational security support mission, it said. Jamaica, the Bahamas, Barbados, Benin, Chad and Bangladesh have also pledged personnel to the force. The Kenyan contingent that will deploy reassembled this week for the first time since the Kenyan government announced in March that the deployment would be delayed, said a Kenyan security official who asked not to be named. A Kenyan government spokesperson said in a text message that the deployment was on course but did not respond to a question about when it would happen. Foreign governments have been reluctant to participate in the mission. Many Haitians have also been wary of international interventions after previous UN mission left behind a devastating Corella epidemic and sex abuse condos. Thank you so much for watching.